Nigeria will collapse if it conducts the 2023 general election with the 1999 constitution. Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, all depending on the time we're reaching you guys. Welcome back to our channel. So good to have you guys back here again. I thank you once again for your continuous and massive support to this channel. God bless you. We really appreciate you. I will pray that even as you support this channel, God Almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you once again. Yes, guys, as always, we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country. A lot of calls have been made that the 1999 constitution should be amended. You know, as a matter of fact, uh, it's been stated that the 1999 constitution is fraudulent. And uh, if the foundation is not good, then nothing good can be can come out. You know, Nigeria has been experiencing a lot of challenges here and there. The country is in a bad shape. And the general election is just um, around the corner, not long to go. Before now, it used to be said that um, two years to three years to now, it's a year plus. February next year is when the general election would hold. Right now, the founder, Afe Babalola University, Ado Kitty, He's the one stating right now, um, adding his voice, stating that um, Nigeria will collapse. It will come to an end if the 2023 general election is conducted with the same constitution that is fraudulent. We'll bring you all of the details in a moment. But before we do, guys, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Click on the like button. And if it's your first time, you're very, very welcome. Please hit on the subscribe button. God bless you. Now to the news. Senior Advocate of Nigeria... Are Afe Babalola has said that Nigeria might disintegrate if the 2023 general elections is conducted with the present 1999 constitution. The founder, Afe Babalola University Adeikiti, who spoke on Tuesday, January 4th, during a ceremony to commemorate the 12th anniversary of the establishment of Abuad, said, there's need for the National Assembly to pass a resolution adopting the 1960 Constitution before the next general elections. Babalola also spoke against recycling old leaders as they will ruin Nigeria using the present Constitution. The educationist noted that the nation has been facing a series of challenges created by the 1999 Constitution imposed on the people by the military. He said, I'm happy that I conceived this university 12 years ago, and since then, we've been going from strength to strength, making exploits in all our endeavors. Our vision is to make this place a great institution in university education in the country through teaching, research, and community service. We must avoid recycling the old failed leaders in the governance of this country. Any mistake of electing a new set of leaders under the present constitution will ruin Nigeria completely. The simple way out of this is for the National Assembly to pass a resolution adopting the 1960 and 1963 constitution with necessary amendments such as having a place, having in place six regions and a one-house parliament. Senior lawyer also faulted the National Assembly over increasing creation of universities across the country, saying the development had usurped the power of the National Universities Commission as prescribed by law on the establishment of the institutions. He claimed that this will have an adverse effect on the nation's education sector and further called on the Ministry of Education and the NUC to exercise their powers to checkmate this in the interest of quality education in the country. Babalola added, every attempt must be made by all stakeholders to put on to put a lead on the establishment of political universities that hardly survive those who put them in place after they are out of power. Otherwise, there will be a crash in the quality of private universities. Babalola is um, stressing here again that um, this same 1999 constitution, the 1999 constitution was put together by the military. And we know um, uh, in time past, the military, the... Uh, a higher percentage of those in the military were from the North. So it was the North that put this constitution together. And it's fraudulent because uh, the constitution does not, uh, um, uh, it's not something that uh, favors the whole of the country. It favors only one region, which is not good enough. He's stating that uh, if we go ahead with the general election, the election is not even something that um, is far away, it's just around the corner. 
is just around the corner here. The election is not long to go. To him, he feels that before conducting the election, before primaries, before anything must be done, that uh, constitution has to be looked at. If it's not looked at, that that is where it will end. We know at the moment there are still agitations, despite the fact that President Mohamed Buhari has locked the leaders of um, the two major agitations in the country. They've been locked up and he's been using oppression and intimidation, but um, they've not given up the struggle. We know anytime they speak, they are still speaking from a very positive um, um, state. They are still very positive. Uh, they still have strong belief of the cause. They've not thrown it away. They've not given up on their belief for uh, 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 a breakaway. For IPOB, the indigenous people of Biafra, they believe that um, they are going to have a Biafra nation. For Dudua nation, same belief. And, you know, the only reason these agitations have been ongoing is um, they have just been uh, asking for freedom, fighting against the marginalization in President Mohamed Buhari's government. You know, um, it was um, at some point that um, Odudua Nation started last year. The call became very serious when Sunday Igbo rose up and said, enough is enough. We can't take this anymore. For Biafra, we know it's been ongoing, but it was last year. Um, all of these became very, very serious. Not until President Mohamed Buhari um, started orchestrating and he got these two leaders locked up. We know that um, it's oppression. There is nothing else but oppression. He's waiting that very soon they will um, give in, they will be weary, and uh, they will call for an end to the agitation that they, they are not uh, uh, pushing for that anymore. But we know that that's not the case. These ones, they are very strong, very positive. Nam De Kano and Sunday Igboho, it's going five months now they've been locked up. Almost five months, if not more, that they've been locked up. And President Mohamed Buhari um, has just uh, uh, thrown his ears away you know, they've just been elongating it from one court case to another, even amended charges. We know all of these schemes, they are all schemes just to hold them locked up, not to get them out. The constitution has to be um, looked at. This is not the first time calls um, to amend the constitution has been talked about. Past leaders, past head of state, they've called on President Mohamed Buhari to uh, amend this constitution. It should be amended. But for Baba Lola, to him, he feels that the 1960 and 1963 constitution should be brought back where we used to have regional um, leaders. Every region, the East had theirs, the West had theirs, the South, that's regional leaders all over that. To him, he feels that that is the right thing. And also having uh, a one house parliament, that anything apart from that, that the country is going to just break, that that is the end of it, that Nigeria will not exist anymore that the country will collapse well guys leave us your take thank you once again for staying tuned please don't forget to like share and to subscribe to like come your way again with more updates bye